Identifying parts in an algebraic expression. Consider the following expression. I have 3 plus 5b plus 7b plus 8a. Select all of the true statements below. Um, so my first statement says 5b and 7b are like terms. So when you're looking at an expression, terms are separated by the plus and minus signs. So if I draw a dividing line, every time I have a plus or a minus, I can see that this expression has four terms. I want like terms, which means that I'm looking at the variables attached, the variable parts. And if any terms have the same variables with the same exponents, then they're like terms. So I can see here that these two terms both have a B. This one has an A, so it's not a like term with these. And that one doesn't have a variable at all. But these two are like terms. So that one is true. We would select that. Okay. Now, it says 3 plus 5b plus 7b plus 8a is written as a product of four factors. Well, I know product means multiply. Um, I do have multiplication going on here, but if they were talking about that, I would have two factors, four factors, six factors, not four. So they're actually talking about the terms. And to separate terms, I'm adding, not multiplying. So this isn't a product of four factors. This is the sum of four terms is the correct statement. This one is false. These are not the correct words to describe this expression. So this one's out. Three is a constant. If I look at this term here, I, it's just a number. No variables, nothing else, just a number. That what, that's what makes a constant term. It's just a number with no variables or anything else attached to it. So that one is true. Eight is a term. Well, if you look over here, this whole thing is a term, 8a, not just the eight by itself. So that one's out, it's false. 8a is a coefficient. Well, the coefficient is just the number attached to the variable. The coefficient is eight. But 8a, the whole thing, is not a coefficient. So this one's out. And none of these are true. That one's out because we did have two true statements.